Hello, I'm Randy Gilmer. I'm here at the University of Virginia's College at Wise. We are in Zemer Hall today, and I'm going to start up my current events programs again, and I'm going to be talking about uh, the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, and the other parties that are, are starting to service or are already here, Tea Party, uh, Libertarian Party maybe. I'm very fortunate today that I have with me Garrett Sheldon, Garrett, welcome. Thank you. Garrett's been here at the college for 28 years. Uh, Garrett is a graduate of Rutgers University. He got his PhD there and his MA there. And I will actually stop at that because I have about uh, 20 pages of his resume here that I could uh, tell you more highlights, but Garrett is uh, uh, very well accomplished. He has a lot of academic experience and has uh, written a lot of uh, papers and a lot of books. And we're just going to jump right into our subject today. Uh, this is a real interesting time to be alive and to be talking about politics, especially with all of the, uh, shall I say, revolt that's happening in Northern Africa in all the different countries. Uh, we're certainly having a few little revolts of our own here in the United States, uh, in Wisconsin, and maybe pretty soon in Ohio and other states. Uh, but we're going to talk about um, who the Republican Party is, and Garrett uh, is uh, very knowledgeable in that area, and he's going to enlighten us and tell us about the Republican Party. So what could I ask you first, Garrett, about the Republican Party? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about um, when we think of a Republican today in this day and time, what does that really mean? What does the Republican Party stand for? <clears throat> well, in general, and this is very general because there are variations between Republicans and Democrats, individuals, but in general, uh, Republicans tend to be more conservative, uh, whereas Democrats are more liberal. Uh, what that means is that uh, conservatives, uh, fiscal conservatives, economic conservatives, um, believe that the private sector, the economy, free enterprise, uh, capitalism uh, is uh, best uh, uh, left alone by the government, not over-regulated, uh, that that produces the most uh, prosperous uh, society, lower taxes, less regulation, individual enterprise, individual creativity is the best way to uh, conservatives believe to, to advance the economy and opportunity and so on, whereas liberals tend to see a greater role for the government, for especially the federal government, uh, social programs, uh, progressive tax rates, uh, higher taxes for, for the disadvantaged, the poor, and, and so mm -hmm. on. Whereas uh, conservatives, most Republicans believe the, the best way to help the poor is, is advancing the economy, a growing economy, and that should be with uh, lower taxes, less, uh, less bureaucratic red tape, less regulation. And then there's, uh, that's fiscal conservatism. Then there's what we call social conservatism or, or, or a cultural conservative. And that's on issues like the family and marriage and religion, and things like that. And again, uh, Republicans tend to be more conservative, so they're more... Uh, uh, for traditional values, traditional family. Uh, uh, they're more positive towards religion, the role of religion and morals in society, supporting the church. Uh, they tend to be uh, conservatives more supportive of the military, more, more patriotism, a strong defense, believe the world is a dangerous place, and we have to be realistic about that, whereas you know, liberals tend to be more um, for peace and believing that you know you don't need as strong a defense, so and also of course liberal social uh, more for environmentalism, whereas uh, conservatives are are more concerned about uh, you know certainly taking care of the environment but but allowing uh, more free enterprise, uh, and these go down really to these two views and what a conservative is and a liberal go down to a different view of human nature. Really, mm -hmm. I teach political philosophy, and um, if you go to the roots of these politics and positions, uh, they really have a different view of human nature. Uh, conservatives, from uh, Edmund Burke up to Ronald Reagan, so on, uh, have a more um, 
I wouldn't say negative, I, I would say realistic view of human nature. That human beings are not perfect. Um, they can be, we can be altruistic. I, I wish we were more altruistic. But the realism from you know, James Madison's uh, pluralism, checks and balances, uh, Calvinist theology, Augustinian theology, believes that uh, human beings are, are selfish. Uh, they're selfish, they're self-interested, uh, lazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, so people need incentives to work. Uh, work is, is not pleasant, work is hard. Uh, the Bible says work is a curse. <laughs> Earning the, our bread by the sweat of our brow. So you have to have incentives. If people work harder, you reward them. Uh, if they don't work harder, they don't get as much. Whereas um, liberals tend to think people are basically good and if you give them more things, say the government gives them more benefits, they will, they will be better and work harder and so on. Uh, conservatives think if you give people too much, just give them things, they, they may not do as much work. You, you have to have an incentive. You have to reward hard work. And so uh, competition is good. Conservatives believe competition brings out the best in people. Whereas liberals tend to see competition as, as bad or, or as unkind. They emphasize more non-competitive things, cooperation, so on. Uh, not emphasizing competition or, or differences, whereas uh, conservatives like competition. They like competition in sports and in uh, politics and in economics. Competing businesses brings out the best, advances uh, new products. And so uh, those are some of the basic differences between liberal and conservative. Republicans tend to be conservative, both mm -hmm. fiscally conservative and uh, socially conservative. Uh, with this day and time with the uh, unrest, and I could go to one country, I could go to Egypt, or I could go to Libya, either one. What, um, what do you feel like the Republicans think about this revolt that's happening in these two countries? Well, again, a conservative tends to be a little skeptical about human nature and about social revolutions. Um, I think conservatives hope that those revolts in Egypt and throughout the Middle East now, Libya. Mm -hmm. um, we hope those will lead to democratic governments, stable, free um, republics like in the United States or in Europe, uh, more prosperous, more fair, uh, democratic voting, elections. Uh, we, we like those. Those are good things. Um, and we think that if that happens, one of the things <coughs> Republicans would like to point out is that uh, President George W. Bush, um, who I met at the White House, I advised President Bush at the White House, uh, you know, he believed that our liberation of Iraq from Saddam Hussein and the establishment of democracy in Iraq, for which we paid dearly in lives and money. Still paying. Still paying, right. but it has become not perfect, but the only really workable democracy in an Arab country. And President George W. Bush believed that if we did that in Iraq, democracy would spread to other Middle Eastern countries. And so if it does, I hope, spread in Egypt and Libya and Jordan and other countries like that, you know, I think some credit should go to President Bush because that was his ideal. I did not know that. Mm -hmm.